Spring seems to have finally arrived. I can see it in every direction, in the green of young grass spread out on the rolling hills of English countryside, the pink of magnolia flowers swaying in the cold April wind, and rapid flutter of big yellow butterfly wings that peeked through the glass and disappeared from the view in front of my garden door just as I speak. I listen to bird song every morning while slowly drifting out of sleep. I watch little birds fly frantically through the sky as they carry dried up leaves and branches, busy building their nests. Life seems somehow happier, more hopeful lately, and I can't help but lose myself in a daydream thinking about it. Let me share something I wrote in my diary a few days ago. I don't think I have ever truly been happy. Don't get me wrong, this does not mean that a feeling of happiness is foreign to me as I have indeed experienced this momentary fleeting emotion more than once. The happiness I'm talking about perhaps isn't so much an emotion as a state of being. I was brought up in a culture where happiness wasn't much of a thing. Laughter without reason is a sign of foolishness was a mantra for adults and kids alike. Plenty of external factors made me happy throughout my life. Birthdays, wedding, a large chocolate cake with cherries, Christmas, my first salary, new travel destinations. They are all wonderful, beautiful things which caused an immense amount of euphoria until, until the moment was gone and only life remained. Until the next day when I was still I and the world was still unchanged. When I say that I wish to be happy, I mean that I wish to one day feel that light inside of me without it being dependent on a third factor influencing it that day. How do you achieve that level of happiness? Is it called happiness at all, or can it be simply called the beauty of existence? Perhaps it's the combination of all, the highlight, the mundane, sadness and laughter, appreciation for each moment no matter how big. I am slowly, very diligently building my own internal vessel of happiness and I hope one day I will see that light from within. I realized that I always depend on something external to make me happy. I was waiting for spring, don't we all, thinking that once spring comes, once I let the sunshine kiss my skin, feel the light breeze run through my hair, let the cherry blossom petals rain over me, that's when I'll be happy. When I reach a certain amount of followers or subscribers, when my video hits its first thousand of views, when I become recognized for what I do, when I graduate from uni, when I become proficient in my skills, when I earn more money, when I move to a different place, start a different life, get married, become older or thinner or prettier. There are so many things we want and depend on iron there when in fact none of it matters in the long run. None of it will make us truly happy on its own, unless we own that light inside regardless of all other factors. It doesn't come naturally to me and I don't believe in suppressing all the other what may be seen a negative parts of yourself to become someone else. I keep thinking about this lately every moment of day. When I look at delicate petals opening up on blossoming trees, or when I'm busy making lunch in the kitchen, wondering if people can change to such extent. If I can change to this extent, change something so fundamental in me as feelings. 
change the part of me where anxieties and stress are taking main control of my life, making me act out of fear rather than out of love. I often try to see and believe in the best in people, but why is it so difficult to believe in the best in myself? Perhaps I don't really need to change at all. Perhaps those fundamental feelings of melancholy that exist in me naturally are what fuels my creativity and in the end makes me feel and comprehend the world to the extent that I do. But can melancholy and happiness coexist? That's what I wonder about. Can sadness and joy intertwine and live peacefully in harmony? Perhaps every single feeling we have serves some sort of purpose and we are meant to coexist together. Without my innate and constant sensitivity and feeling of melancholy, perhaps I wouldn't strive to see the light I wish to witness one day. And what if without one, I wouldn't be able to truly see and desire the other? I haven't fully figured out the path that will definitely lead me to more light. But these ramblings today are helping me figure out these feelings. Sometimes the understanding of what it is that you're looking for is the biggest step you can take. I hope there is something that is making you see the light today. I will speak to you again soon.